So today we're going to be making arroz con gandule and we're going to be using um, some of the dripping from the penid video. I'll link the, um, the video on the, on the link above. And I just took some of the drippings out and we're going to use it to base our rice. But first we're going to add just a little bit of cooking oil. That's good. And we're going to start um, sauteing our vegetables. So to that I'm going to add a half a green pepper. And my salt is at a high. A uh, half an onion. We're going to add five heads of garlic, roughly chopped. Okay, now we're going to add one cup of cilantro. All right, and I'm going to take, I wanted to show you guys really quick. I'm gonna take maybe about two or three leaves um, of regal. This is what it looks like, and you can get this at most um, Latin supermarkets. And this is the same leaf that we use when we make sofrito. I got this up to make sofrito, I haven't had time, so I'm just gonna take a couple of leaves and just tear them, give them a rinse, tear them up and put them in the pot. Okay, so this are the leaves, and I'm just going to break it up into little pieces. You can chop it up um, with a knife. It doesn't matter. I really need to get my nails done. Okay, let me wash my hands. <clears throat> my voice. I'm going to add, excuse me, one third cup of tomato sauce and it can be any you know um, tomato sauce so then it's fine we're going to add one um, can of gandules the pigeon peas and you guys know this is the brand that I love and make sure you drain the water out of the can um, before you put it in the pot. Now, this is the dropping from the penin. Like I said, I'll link the video on the, um, on the top and also at the end of this video. And I'm going to use the drippings from that into the rice. And make sure your stove is still at a high heat because we want this to start coming to a boil. Alright guys, and I am making five cups of long grain rice, so I'm going to be adding two packs of um, sasong to that. Now we're going to give this a stir, and then we're going to add our rice. But first we want this to come to a boil. So let it start boiling. Um, get your rice together. If you wash your rice, wash it. I wash mine. If not, just wait for this to come to a boil before you put your rice in there. All right, so cover it until the water evaporates. I should have told you guys that. Um, I'll make you a penne sandwich with the toast okay. because that's the only bread we have. Um, all right, so now we're just going to leave it covered maybe for about five minutes. Just keep your eye on it until all, most of the water, not all of it, just most of the water um, evaporates. All right, guys, so the water is basically about done. So when it gets, um, when it gets like this, just give it a good mix. 
there's a big piece of garlic there. I'm going to leave it in there. I don't know if that's from the penit or from me. I, it might have came from the penit. All we needed was that banana leaf on the top. Mm -hmm. and then we, told me. Yeah, I had told you that there, but you was already outside. Got it. It's all right. So now we're going to put our stove down for, let me see, a low to medium heat. So mine's is at a three. And we're going to cover the rice. You will use a banana leaf instead of this. And put it in. Why I put the banana leaf and then oh. put the foil. But I'll do another video with that when we buy the leaves because we're going to be making pateles soon. So for about 30 to 35 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it so then don't open it just let it do its thing all right guys so my rice actually cooked for 40 minutes um, So our rice is done as you can see um, and whenever your rice is done always um, break it apart and give it a good you know mix that way it's kind of like you're fluffing out your rice oh it smells so good guys You see, I didn't grab the gandules because I don't really like um, beans. Um, I like the sauce of the beans. I'm not a bean person, but this is our rice. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mmm. Guys, this rice is delicious. It tastes so good. It has the flavors from the pork drippings, and then like all your fresh spices um, in there, the garlic, the cilantro, onion, pepper, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's delicious. Make sure you give this recipe a try. Guys, if you're making the penne, why waste the drippings? Utilize it in your rice, and it tastes really good. You see, I didn't use no chicken bouillon, ham bouillon, not, don't put your fingers in there. She's trying to grab the beans. This girl eat all the beans out of that arroz con gandule. Um, yeah, you see, I didn't put any kind of um, bouillon seasoning because you didn't need it. The drippings of the penne did all the work. So if you're doing a penne for a party, <laughs> um, might as well do the right. Um, and this is the rice that we did with the dripping of the pork. Um, Don Julian style, my dad's style of cooking, and the penny was also his way of making the penny. So both of these um, videos that you're going to see, the Rokon Gandule and the video was um, his style of cooking. So it's delicious. It's that old school cooking. All right, so make sure you give this video a try. Let me know in comments how you like it and, um, and how it turned out. So the next video is simply Nana with crafting cooking and sasso. Oh my god, you guys are